Here we'll be looking at multiplying and dividing fractions again. So here in our first example, we have three fractions that we're multiplying. So when multiplying fractions, it's top by top and bottom by bottom. So we can multiply all these at once, or you can take them separately. Maybe take two first, and then multiply your answer by the last one. We'll take them all together in this. So we're multiplying each of the top numbers by each other. So it's 3 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 1, which is equal to 6. Multiply the bottom numbers by each other. So it's 5 by 3 is 15, 4 by 15 is 60. So we get an answer of 6 over 60. Obviously, we can break that down. So 6 will divide into both of those numbers. So we multiply above and below by 6. Or rather, we divide above and below by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 6 into 60 goes 10 times. So our final answer here is 1 over 10. If we move on to the next example, we can see we've mixed fractions here. We've 1 and 2 thirds multiplied by 2 and 1 sixth. In these situations, you should always convert these to just single fractions. You don't want to have any mixed fractions. So 1 and 2 thirds. Basically, 1 is 3 over 3. So it's 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3 is 5 over 3. 2 and 1 sixth. 2 is the same as 12 over 6. 12 over 6 plus 1 over 6 is 13 over 6. So anytime you've mixed fractions, just convert them to a single fraction. So we have 5 over 3 multiplied by 13 over 6. So it's the numerator by the numerator, 5 by 13. That'll give us 65. And we have the denominator by the denominator, 3 by 6, which is 18. There is no number that will divide into both 65 and 18 evenly, so we can't break that fraction down anymore. We could convert it to a mixed fraction, if desirable. And that would be equal to 3 and 11 over 18. The reason it's 3 and 11 over 18, 18 goes into 65 three times, remainder 11. So that's how we get 3 and 11 over 18.